The trap that kept us bound here has mocked you and summoned Amit, Eater of Hearts. She will burrow from beneath the earth to find you, and you will face the judgment of Anubis. Take the star. With its power, I can give you guidance no matter how far apart we are. Hurry, mortal. You are not safe here. Hello everybody, I'm Max Games and I'm playing Lara Croft in the Temple of Osiris. I saw this on the PlayStation Store a little while back and decided, hey, it's cheap, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up, give it a shot. And so far I gotta say, from my first impression, it's not too bad. It's got your typical item collection, what is that? The gems set. and treasure. He is still trapped in Duot, but he can extend his power into our world. These marks must be destroyed wherever we find them. Hmm. Like cauterizing a wound. Let's go. I would like to see the characters be a little bit bigger than now, but overall, like the graphics, I don't think are bad. Looks pretty good. Controls are pretty smooth. You get bombs. That's always a plus in any game. Killed the giant eyeball and opened the gate. Awesome. My little gods, have you come at last to bow before me? I owe you great thanks. For thousands of years I was lost in the dark of doom. But when you touched the star, it sang to me. It guided me back here so that I may reclaim what is mine. You are a murderer and a tyrant, Set. We will grant justice for Osiris and seal you into what forever. <laughs> so be it. But while you withered in captivity, I mastered the secrets of Duat. I will find my way back to this world. And you have shown me the path. I will take back my throne. Look, Set is raising his army. He has yeah, yeah, found me some combat here. Yeah. And made these spirits into his slaves. Those went too the tough. power of Osiris still resides within his star. If we raise it up, it will affect anything with his glyph. And that is one big lizard down there. But yeah, overall, I mean, I like the level design of it. I mean, it really looks like you're in some kind of Egyptian tomb. You know, price only 20 bucks. That ain't bad at all. Pretty fun game. It's got local and online multiplayer. You know, up to four people can play this. So if you got like some friends, you know, that looking for a good cheap game to play, then I would, you know, definitely recommend this one. Another collectible hidden down here. Tricky getting up the walls sometimes. We should move. There is no telling when Amit will find you. The traps in this place are deadly. We must be cautious. Not quite sure what the gemstones are for just yet. I think these are health packs over here. It 
is all about timing right here. Useful little things, these bombs. Just try to stay clear of the blast. We will keep that in mind. Well, now she tells me to stay clear of the blast. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes it can be quite a lot of enemies on the screen at the same time. And you want to go around and light all these torches when you see them because that makes gemstones appear. Another grappling hook. And a maximum health upgrade. Those always come in handy. all these bases and stuff because as you can see many of them have gems inside switch back to my staff here and a big golden ring oh apply effects to your character that's where you can choose your different inventory and stuff as you can see by the empty slots, there's plenty more to find. I'm going to go with the weapon damage plus. sure what you get for those but it's gotta be something Oops, I died. Yeah, you want to avoid falling into the pits. Never get them. Okay. <laughs> Put 
Christy flaming metal balls with fire in them. Up the stairs here. So far the puzzles haven't been too complicated. You can kind of pretty much tell what you need to do. Which is good. Submachine gun. Awesome. I guess that's already coming in help handy here. Proving to be helpful. This is Laura Croft in the Temple of Osiris. 20 bucks if you're looking for a good cheap game to play with friends. Then I highly recommend it. And uh, thanks for watching.